Hey everybody, this is Josh, uh, JDW80550. Um, so I've seen a lot of people do in the bags for their discs and some bag reviews about bags that they use. Um, I'm a little bit of a bag whore, so I've got lots and lots of bags. So I thought it might be a nice thing to go ahead and review all of them together so that people can get a good idea of what I have. Um, I'm just going to show you my bags. My wife's got several as well, um, and I may try to get her to review them. That way ladies can see um, what are some good bags for them, because she doesn't necessarily care for my bags because they're geared more towards men. Um, to start with, I'm going to start with my favorite bag. This is the bag that I use for probably 70 to 75% of my rounds. Um, the reason for it is it is wonderful. This is... The Voodoo, I believe it's the Mojo, um, smaller set of the bags. Um, this is my core set of bag. Um, all the Frisbees that I throw primarily, I keep in here and I can roll with it. Um, holds two putter pockets up front, mini pocket up front as well. Inside, I'm holding one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, ten here could probably squeeze in another two frisbees um, and turn it into like 12. Um, it has internal um, like dividers and they're solid dividers. That's one thing that I don't like about some of the bags is that they give you dividers but they're that flimsy crummy stuff and they don't really hold things well. You start getting them flipping flopping and laying over. Um, these super solid, super tight. I love that it's got the stretchy side pockets. Um, so I keep like my scorebook in there. I run lots of doubles leagues and so have my book, have pencils in there. Big, big side pockets. It's one of the things that I really like. Super deep side pockets and then internal Velcro pockets on the inside of each one of those. So it gives you almost twice the storage. I'm always amazed at how much storage is really in there for this bag. It's really nice, really deep. Also, two big cup holder pockets, insulated cup holder pockets. Um, it's been really hot up here lately, and so I've been throwing in like ice bottles of water in, and I keep thinking, oh, it'll melt by the time I'm ready for it, and then I get to that point in time, and it, the ice is still pretty heavy. So. Um, super sturdy, super solid, really like this. Nothing, I mean, it doesn't do anything fancy, but what it does, it does better than anybody else. Um, the material is super durable, super tough. I've had zero rip, zero tears, no issues with zippers. I did add um, some dynamic straps. These are the newer OGO ones. I had had dynamic straps before, and the shoulders were much thinner, and I did not like those. Um, got some funny money and found that these are very wide, super cushiony, super sturdy. I love these new straps a lot. So, uh, Dynamic and Ogeo, keep making these straps, don't go back to the other ones. Um, so that's my, that's my mojo. Super nice, super sweet. Paul, can you hand me the black bag? My son's helping me. Uh, you want to say hi, Paul? There you go. All right, so this is my Voodoo Karma. Same color, same stick. Um, basically everything in this one is the same as the Mojo, except holds basically an additional slot. And the other thing that I like about it is it has a space in it so that you could put three putters. So I got one, two putters, Three, you can put it in, and then it also has an elastic drawstring if you need to cinch up the putter pocket. If you only are putting two in, it lets you, lets you cinch it up there. Um, once again, side pockets, super deep. You can see I have, um, it's not like a full sweatshirt, but it's one of the kind of like high performance long sleeves. Um, in the mornings in Colorado when you're starting to play tournaments or something like that, it can get a little brisk. So having something in there that I can just always have is really nice. Um, 
pockets are super deep. Once again, they've got both deep pockets and the additional Velcro pockets on the inside. Um, plenty of pencil space, squishy bungee side cords, uh, insulated water holders. This one, I have the straps that I wish people would still make, but nobody does. And they live in Colorado and Phoenix. Come on now. Um, these are my Phoenix Quad Shocks. I got them used and they are amazing. Added some additional just like D-rings onto it to hold them up, hold them in place. Um, but they're great. Like I said, uh, did not expect. Switched over to backpack style bags a while back. Um, thinking I was never going to go back to this style until I picked up the Voodoo ones. And hate to say it, but... Functionality, purpose, utility-wise, they, they're pretty kick-ass. They're really amazing. So, uh, I like these a lot. So, my Voodoo's are my, my bread and butters as it comes to bags. Um, so now going with the same traditional style bag. Paul, can you bring me the brown bag? So this next bag is the Fossa Competitive Bag. So this is not their backpack style bag. Welcome. So this is their tournament style bag. Um, the first thing about it that I did was I was super surprised at how much space could fit in all the Frisbees. Um, I think when I load this up, I can fit 25 in this compartment alone um, that's not to include the two putter pockets on the side that is one thing that i really do like about this bag and i wish the other bags did is have side putter pockets because there's nothing worse than when you're you know because i park it all the time um, but when you're right next to a basket and you're just all you need to do is drop it in and you just want to grab that putter and drop it in and i know you're not supposed to do a bag putt but we all do it um, and it makes it easy to grab and do that drop. With the other ones, you do have to take it off, reach around, or whatever it is to get there. Um, side pockets on this, super deep, super wide side pockets. Um, downside is it's just a pocket on that one. There's not any internal on it as well. Same thing on the other side. However, it does have a big, big side pocket for like cell phone storage to go with it. You also have the little one. This is one that I put like my money in for when I go play leagues and stuff like that. Um, it's got a front pocket, nice for like tissues or little things. I got like a, a little bug spray spray in there. And then this one is kind of my scoreboard or uh, score pad book one, whatever else you want to put in there. It does have a clip on it for your towel, which is cool. Um, like I said, overall, this is a, the design of this bag is really smart. It's really well set up, really well done. Um, I put some Phoenix quads on it. The thing that I just, I, I have a hard time getting over. I mean, it's got little feet on the bottom um, to keep you up off the ground. It's just, it looks and feels cheap. Um... Whereas the Voodoo bags feel solid, they feel like quality. Um, the Fossa bag just feels a little cheap. The material, while it's been waterproof and it's done just fine, um, it feels a little flimsy. It feels like it's not going to go a long distance for you. Um, I was talking about the dividers in the Voodoo that I like so much. I mean, you can already see that these wobble, warp kind of come back and forth on it. Um, same thing with the zippers. The zippers on the Voodoo are big, thick, beefy zippers. These are little skinny zippers. Um, it's not to say it's a bad bag. And honestly, I spent 40 bucks on it. And I think the other, the Voodoo bags, I spent 80 to 100 bucks on. So, you know, you get what you pay for. And this is the best entry level option for storage that I have found. Um, compared to the Innova bags and the Fade bags, you are getting probably three times as much storage as you would with those. Um, and 
it's the same kind of quality. Only downside I have found, it's got one drink holder. It is insulated though. Um, insulated drink holder, bungee to come down. It fits large water bottles. I mean, you can put big, big Nalgene's or Gatorade bottles in, no problem. Um, if you're just talking about beginning players or you just want to upgrade to your first big bag just to see what it's like, this is the one to do. Um, good price point, good entry point, has all the features that the nicer bags do without breaking the bank to see if this is really the style you want or if you want to go backpack style or whatever you might choose. Um, the thing that I will caution people about this is you will overload it because it has so much storage room. That's the thing I found about this one and the Karma is that because there are so much storage room and so much Frisbee room, um, I overload it at times and it gets real heavy. Um, and the way that it sits on your back, if you, if you overload it too much, it's going to start hitting on your back and it's going to drain you. If you're playing tournaments, um, just know that going in and practice carrying the heavy, fully loaded bag around for like two weeks before your tournament. So that way you really feel what it's like to have that all the time. All right. So those are the three um, traditional bags that I normally use. Uh, so Paul, why don't we go to the camo bag? He's a good boy. Thank you. So this is, this is my baby baby. Um, this is my divorce present to myself. And this is my golf mall. Um, they no longer make them anymore, which I was sad to hear, but glad that I got mine when I did. Um, it is by far the best, best bag I use. Doesn't mean I use it all the time. Um, it's big at times. Um, so for like quick casual rounds, that's why I really like the Mojo because the Mojo can be quick casual rounds, but it can also be extended day rounds. This one really is tournament and mountain rounds only. Um, the reason it becomes the mountain round is because it does have a waistband. So if you've ever played big mountain courses, sometimes you're going up those inclines. It really is nice to have it strapped so that it is sitting completely snug on your back. It makes the, the weight and carrying and walking up and down so much easier. Um, I've patched this one up. I got patches galore on it. Um, it does have space here in the middle. Um, holds about mm, 12 as it's normally constituted. If I loosen up straps, and really go to extend the side pockets, which is another great thing about the mall, is that you can make it a narrow bag, or if you really need to load it down with stuff, you can really stretch it out, and all of a sudden, you can see here, this is the pocket that's not extended. This is your extended pocket. You can basically double the size of your bag um, just by doing that. Front putter pocket, this is one of the older ones, so it really holds too well. However, um, some of the newer models, I could probably squeeze a third one in. It just gets tighter. Um, not to say you can't be done, and if you did it enough, it would probably stretch the pocket out a little bit for you. Uh, mini pocket. Um, pencil holders. Clipboard all up top so it's super handy super easy you reach down reach up one of the things that i really like about it um, i have not lost pencils in this one the same way i have in all the other bags all the other bags i have a tendency to you know you try to put it in and then you bump on something and out your pencil goes um, pocket wise it's got a ton of storage it's got the little side pocket cup holder pocket big big deep pocket and it's got internal zipper pockets on the inside and since it's all waterproof which I really like I have like my headphones things like that that I might need on those inside zipper pockets so it's like double waterproofed up um, and I have been in like snowstorms rainstorms 
haven't had issues with getting those wet. Now the bottom of the bag will get wet and will get sloppy. And if you're carrying it around, will get you wet and sloppy. But what's in the bag doesn't. Um, has the one of the things that I do like about this is they all have the little part that you put on for a rain fly. However, this one is a solid rain fly. It comes down, you can snap it up, and it holds well. Also makes it great for travel. This is the bag that if I'm traveling someplace. Um, I can take it and use it as a travel bag on an airplane because it works so well. Um, adjustable yoke is one of the things that they sold this for, um, and it is awesome. I'm a I'm five seven, so I got a medium size, and it is tightened all the way down, almost as far as it'll go um, to fit me. One thing that I will say, so I wear, I wear a little Fitbit, I know, you guys tease me all you want, but when I'm putting this bag on and off, because I want it to sit like a true backpack, if I'm not careful and I put my arm into the strap coming through, it has a tendency to bump the Fitbit onto my arm, and I've had bruises show up from continuous up, take it off, up, take it off, up, take it off. Um, First world problems, right? All right. Um, once again, cushiony back support. They say you can put a bladder in it. They say. Haven't been able to, but they say you can. Um, I would imagine what you they're talking about, as opposed to what I want, is you can put a bladder in a side pocket and run a line up through the strap on the arm, and it's there. What I wanted was to be able to put the bladder in the back and it sit on your back the same way a camelback does. Um, first world problems again. I can put two big water bottles in the side and it does everything that I need to for the most part. Um, haven't really run out of water. Once again, this one especially, I overload because it sits well on my shoulders and on my back. And initially when you put it on, even if it's weighed down super heavy, it doesn't feel as heavy as those regular competition style bags are. Um, and so I do overload it and then, oops, put too much in. It does have straps on the side for umbrellas, retriever, if you've got a pole retriever. Um, also has like little slide pockets. This is where I take my foldable chair and it's really nice slide it right in on the side it puts all the weight right in the center of the bag not off to the side one way or the other and then I can sit ready to go um, by far my favorite bag not always my most used bag but it is by far my favorite bag um, plus I'm not gonna lie probably get more compliments on this bag than I do the other ones so Everybody likes to get complimented. Um, good, good carrying handle, carrying case to pick it up, move it down, adjustable shoulder straps, solid bag. Um, you, you can't tell you anything wrong about it. Ooh, here's one thing. I have, at times, because you can stretch these pockets out and they get really big, um, and they're waterproof, I have filled it up with ice and put um, adult beverages in when I'm playing some casual mountain rounds. Um, it does work well as a cooler. But if that's the case, better tell your buddies you got to carry some of the other stuff because they're going to want to throw in their beverages into your bag and you're going to be the bag, the beverage carrier um, for the round. So uh, that's the Golf Mall. Paul, I need the American flag. So this is my newest bag. This is um, Dynamic Commander bag. This is the one that I got from the Blast Blown Open. Um, that they were giving away. Um, it's the same thing as the new Commander bag. I, I, I had them all. I was like, yeah, that's cool. I got a free bag. Who, who doesn't like free bags? Um, didn't think I would actually like the bag. Um, truth be told, it's a good bag. I like it a lot. Um, and my wife likes hers. She went to the glass one with me, so she got one as well. Um, we caddy for each other at tournaments. 
and this is the bag that we can both use side by side. She can use hers um, to caddy for me and I can use mine to caddy for her. Um, all the storage lines up the same so it makes for a smooth transition. Um, it holds a bunch of Frisbees right here in the center. I've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Could probably put at least another five to six here. Plus you've got one putter pocket and then another putter pocket above it mini pocket one thing that i it's nice but i don't know if i care for it a ton is this is basically how you're going to get your rain fly it's going to cover your main section of discs um, while your putters are left exposed putters are the ones that i use on every single hole i think i would like to have them covered as well once again, not a big problem, but if I'm going back and forth, um, the mall, when I pull the rain fly over, covers the putter pocket as well. So, um, also, it has spot for pencil, spot for clipboard, paper. However, it only has a spot for one pencil. I, I, I just told y'all, I lose my pencils, so sometimes I want to have the extras in there. Um, handle really nice straps they're comfy they're cushiony i wish they were probably a little bit wider on them um, but otherwise they're not too bad the back is comfy the back is cushiony it does have that boxy feel um, when you put it on as opposed to the mall which feels like it belongs on your bag uh, or on your back while this one's a little boxy two drink holders good size drink holders two small storage pockets um, for your utility kind of stuff and then they do have these big side pockets um, from here down they're real nice from here up I'm not sure what purpose they serve um, once you get to about this point it starts to stretch the bag out and I'm afraid the zipper is gonna rip um, or tear off. I've put a raincoat in, and I do. I have to clear out basically a whole side pocket to push the raincoat all the way down to fit from here lower um, so I don't stress the zippers out too much on it. While, um, while those are some issues with it, it does have you know, a strap on the side to put an umbrella. If you're going to clip your umbrella on or a holder, I like the bag a lot. Um, would I have, if I hadn't got it for free for playing in the tournament, would I have gone out and bought it myself? Probably not with the selection that I have already. Um, if I was going to go out and buy another backpack bag, I probably would have wanted to test out and see what the difference was between um, like some of the Spinal Taps or you know, the, the Hydrobomb ones that they've got going, the, the Ergo 3s that they have, just to see kind of what's out there. Because while the price point on this, and I think it's, y'all have to correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's like 120 to 140 something like that. That's a killer price point. I mean, that's $120 less than what the mall was. I could have gotten two of these for the price of the mall. Um, the quality on the mall is unmatched. It really is hands down but this is a good bag it really is it's a good bag best entry point with maybe the the exception of the fossa backpack um, for a beginner backpack style bag um, plus i like dynamic they run good tournaments they put on good shows i'm, I'm happy to rep and support their stuff um, even if it's not my go-to for things so with that in mind those are my bags um, I'm going to see if my wife will do a review on her bag. She's got a Upper Park Design Shift, um, the Upper Park Design, I don't know, whatever the accordion one is that lays flat. And then she also has the, the Commander bag. And she also uses a, uh, like a Camelback because a lot of times when we're caddying for each other, it's nice for somebody to carry a water bag. And so that bag also can hold a few discs. So I'll see if she's interested in doing that at some point. Other than that, thanks for watching. I hope that helps. Happy hucking.